Hello guys, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video, back again on Warships, and I'm gonna be doing some attacks, trying to get some dubs, trying to stay above Diamond 22, which has been a struggle, but today guys, you know, I have three chests built up, so we're gonna try to unlock a couple, hopefully we'll get to win, a win streak to make it go a little bit better, and as of now, I'm just focusing on upgrading my gumbo energy to make my warrior attacks go better, and that's the strategy I've been using. We're gonna load up medics to confuse our competitor a little bit because chances are we'll get paired up with someone oh this is not someone who has seven engine rooms and this is someone i could probably take one or two from probably not two probably just one i really just want to like smoke warriors back up there but if i screw up that's gonna be it for me so i'm gonna go from this side i know it looks easy to go from the other side but uh, one thing I've learned about warships, if there's a trickery base, it's best to try to avoid the trick in the base. And he's wanting people to go up from here. All the rocket launches will be in range. We got a couple doom cannons in range. The main goal is to push for this one, this one engine room. And then if we take down the engine room, we'll be set, we'll be set for life. We'll have enough energy, not energy. We'll have enough troops. We'll be able to just grind this guy down. Hopefully, that's the plan. We'll take out some of these shock mines so my heavies don't get caught up and get stopped in their tracks. I do like his position of shock launchers. They're not in an awful position. Not hitting my, my, my troops from this angle. And we are gonna start dropping shocks because I don't want my, my heavies to die super fast. You know, it's okay if my heavies die, but I can't have them die really fast. And that's probably something I should upgrade is my shock duration because as of now the shocks take so freaking long and hopefully we'll be able to get one engine room I'm counting on my my amazing dr kaban abilities and those rocket launchers up at the top are kind of hurting They're kind of hurting me guys the shock down get some critters down can we take down this rocket launcher at the top that's been grinding my troops down oh my gosh we're gonna not be able to get this Dang, what a good position. You know, it was a, oh man, that guy, the base is on. It was a risk and he beat me. Oh my gosh, good job to him. That, that was a, uh, kind of a tough base design. <laughs> All the rocket launchers were in range. It's not very common. I lose against someone who has six engine rooms now. Um, normally I only lose against people like this who have seven engine rooms. So. I'm gonna switch to warriors. This guy should be a piece of cake. I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. We'll just get back up there, no shock launchers. Um, he only has one shock launcher, which is nice. I really like this. <laughs> this guy, this fool. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? I kinda wanna just go from down here. I'll probably have to use a lot more smokes. Actually, I probably won't have to use that much more. Um, because if I get critters down, we'll be able to just hide. Then I'll get back up there and I should be fine. I don't want to waste my energy on critters though. Okay. Troop, get my warriors down. I'll hit that bond. Ah, oh, frick. I'll hit that mine. I just thought of something. I'll hit the mine. It's fine. It's okay if the shock launcher fires off. It's okay if the doom cannon releases a hit on me. But I'm just going to snipe this guy right up in this weak spot here and I'll have so much energy left over should be a piece of cake I should be able to knock two down maybe even three this guy does not have a very good basis on okay we'll get some more critters down we'll get a med kit up there this is like one of the easiest seven room e engine room there are seven engine room bases I have seen thus far like it's really really easy we're just gonna dem <laughs> we're demolishing this guy out here <laughs> poor guy I feel bad but then again I don't like this is why you don't rush <laughs> rush your defense okay try to take down this one. Oh, I didn't see that one down there so not gonna be able to take them all we did get four no we got five can't do math we got five out of a lot and he retreated good for him Good job, dude. You know, in the end, he's also gonna get confused when he watches my replay because I switched troops. 
you know, we got that glitch going on and we we're able to pull that dub right away from him. It's probably like, what the heck just happened? I wonder if he gets out a lot. I don't know. We'll get medics again to confuse the next player and let's cr try to grab this last chest. Okay. It's nice because there's that little area up at the top you could flare to. It really sucks for people who have seven engine rooms. But for me, it's very, very nice. I think I'm going to go from this side again. I don't normally go from this side, but that's the better side. Less smoke. Try to keep our hero closer to our warriors. The main thing is just keep it off. Oh, dang it. Okay, I may have messed up a flare. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. We're gonna make it down right away. Heal up our troops a bit. And critters, of course, to distract the initial buildings will shock that shock launcher. The main thing is just get, letting your warriors take down one engine room and then just try to deal as much damage as you can to other engine rooms. Because if you, if you destroy one engine room, that puts you equal with him, and then you have to deal enough damage and hopefully try to take a second engine room. It really is a struggle when you're down this low, trying to grab yourself that last engine room, just so you're able to beat him by a little bit. But I took two down, and doesn't look like I'll take any more, but I should get some good DPS off on him. So if he is able to take down one of my engine rooms, I have some damage dealt on his base, but not that much damage. We'll watch his replay. See what he's up to. I'm a little nervous because he's using second wind, um, which is the only way people are able to defeat my base unless they're using like grenadiers or something, which is very rare. I haven't seen a lot of people upgrade grenadiers. We'll see how good he is at using second wind. But as soon as this Doom Cannon hooks in, um, it's, it gets a lot harder for players. Like, it looks easy up at the front, and then when the Doom Cannon hooks in, I got some laser beams popping off on this player. Yeah, it's, it's hard. I'm surprised he hasn't used more second wind, and I'm hoping he doesn't. Yeah. If he had enough energy, he could have definitely beat me. He might still get me. Those Zookas up here. No. Oh, sweet. <laughs> um, if he had second wind, if he had enough energy and revived his troops with second wind, he would have been, I would have been toast. He would have took that right away from me. But we got the chest. Chest. Let's grab that loot. New highest I've been as a six engine room player. It's getting hard up here, guys. Okay. Here's the deal. I really do. Okay. I think I could unlock this engine room. Should we do it? Should we unlock the last section? Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a yes. And you know, I it, it's been a struggle up here, and I think getting this last, last section will help me a lot. Then people will actually be hitting my base using warriors, which is fine because my defenses are really high leveled for my level. So we're gonna do it. I am really nervous. Really, really nervous. <sighs> Boom. Dang, that's crazy. Just unlocks just like that. The last section. It's kind of sad, but at the same time, not really. Okay, let's do a quick. Oh man, this is gonna. I should have. I should have did this at the end of the episode. This will take me a minute or so to come up with a decent base design. Yeah, I kind of regret. Oh frick! What the heck? That is a glitch. I just want to dig it up, not destroy it gonna group them up like this I don't know if putting buildings in between them is gonna be a good way to play but let's drop something down there get like a flame or something and let's move everything down one over here so I can drop one more flame this is exciting um, so we can fry some warriors up there and then the main thing is we're gonna just load up this section so players will just get annihilated when they drop their troops and the, mainly I'm trying to stop people from flaring 
and taking down this using warriors. It's okay if they were able to destroy the majority of my base and get back there using other troops because the chances of them taking down my core are really low. That's just how I feel. Okay guys, I don't know if this is going to work. It's very much a testing period. Let's upgrade something. I have a lot of upgrade tokens. This stuff is all going to be until I get to that. But I think I'm taking the bottom. Which route am I taking? Wait, sky shield. I need sky shields. Where were they? Here. I'm taking the bottom route so I can get sky shields as fast as possible. But as for energy, you know, I could do damage. I could do HP. Boost up my warriors a little bit. My warriors maxed. Yeah. I could do smoke. Smoke would be really, really nice, but I don't think it's an essential right now. Shocks would also be nice, but I don't think shocks are an essential. You know, building health or troop damage is pretty cheap. I think I'm going to do was it this energy and then some sort of damage for my warriors I won't boost up our warriors a little bit more let's do this we're not even gonna try to fool people this will probably be one of my last attacks I'll attack it you guys will see my base in action I'm not sure how my base is gonna work I'll see what this player does attacking me Ooh, here we go I spent so long looking at these players and wishing I was an engine room seven because of so many like attacks when I took down an engine room they wouldn't take down one of my engine rooms and then I would still lose because they had this started out with one more engine room than me so now I'm here you know I made it so far this guy has no HP on his defenses oh he took down one okay probably some warriors I'm just kind of letting him see I probably should get started in case we deal the same amount of damage that might be a smart idea, Christian. <laughs> we'll get right up here and we'll move up and try to try to take him out here. 73 energy. I'm getting there. My energy piles are are glowing up. Still hasn't took down any more of mine, so it looks like only one. I can't wait till I get sky shields because that'll be a lot harder for players. Okay, we're gonna snake right up here. We'll get a couple more smokes down. It's really important that you just keep moving here. Oh gosh, it's very, very expensive. Dang it, I'm gonna need to use like all of my energy, aren't I? Is my hero still alive? Very, very, oh, barely, please fire at him. Oh no, <laughs> this is gonna be bad. Okay, I'm just hoping that the amount of HP on his buildings, I used way too much energy on smoke. This guy has no HP. Man, we're gonna crush him. I'm gonna smack him down. Look at this. He, he has no damage and no HP. This is what happens when you rush your your base, and we should get the dub here. Oh, poor guy. We're able to take down three engine rooms. Okay. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I do want to watch the replay to see what he did. Maybe change up my base design so you guys could kind of see my strategy behind the base design I have. Um, where is he? Down here. Good. He's using warriors. He flares to a building, which is fine. It's fine to flare to buildings on warships. Does not know how to use warriors. Oh my gosh. He's flaring to an engine room. Not the best move. They're kind of big. He shocks. Why would you go at that engine room? Oh, I don't know what his strategy was. I think he ran out of energy. Or he was trying to avoid the, the flamethrowers, which worked, so good for him. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'm going to push so much better now. And uh, let's check out my task force here. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like as always. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. Wait, Adam is catching up on me. I have to push. And he has six engine rooms. Good for him.